Before Paco de Lucia, there were four courts, and this is after Paco de Lucia. The Andalusian cadence are these four courts here. And that was the main minor, but we can play in any key. So in this chart, which is both the extended Andalusian cadence and the history of flamenco as well, because here you can see this is before Paco and after Paco. Let me say before, and here we will write down first minor and then we'll write A minor. Right? This can be in any key, in fact, you can make photocopies of that and practice every day. So we have A minor, then we have flat 7, G. Why? Because we count A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 7, and that is G, the flat 7 of A. Then we need the flat 6, so we count 6, A, B, C, D, E, F, and therefore we get here an F. And then we have the 5th, 7, flat 9 chord, the most important chord, this one, which is 5th, and therefore we count from A, A, B, C, D, E, so E, 7, flat 9. And these four chords here, namely A minor, and these four chords are the core, the main soul of the Andalusian cadence, which these four, of course, existed before Paco, and then Paco did extend this and got it bigger, a bigger vision of it with all those chords. But first we have to, to say that these four here are very important to understand. Uh, some people studying jazz theory or, or harmony in jazz.
cannot very easily play things which sound actually flamenco inside this cadence because it requires a very specific study. So this is our business here and therefore we have one annotation more to that is this bracket flat six on the first minor because here for this chord we are going to play a six that should be flat six and we will do the dollar thing as we do in the four minor that we will say, say later on more specifically but the thing is that these four chords it exists if you learn the Roman numerals, you can also transpose that to any key. For instance, if in, in D minor, they will sound like this. Then in E minor, will sound like this. Actually, we could say that this chord, the 5th, 7th flat 9, it does define this music itself. Actually, if I play this one chord, that chord there, 5th, 7th flat 9, right away I get the very essence of flamenco. flat nine. So I have to mention that some people confuse things and think that this is the tonic. This is never the tonic, but I put a circle there to indicate that this chord, it is more important for us than the tonic. So sometimes tonic is not there. You can see many times people playing. is never played, it doesn't matter, but uh, this is the one which is the tonic. And remembering that tonic is a set of hierarchies, relationships and functions that all the sounds of our musical system keep around one of them, a precious note called tonic, and that's the definition of tonality and tonic. Here we are, not in, in E region or anything, this is A minor, because E region does not have a G sharp. If we try to say that this is the tonic or modal or anything like this, then we will, at some point will come many uh, mathematical incongruences, things that does not match. Therefore, to avoid those problems, uh, it's better that we accept the fact that these four chords, from where they came from, they didn't, they didn't came like from other planets, so to say. <laughs> Uh, because there is not one scale which have, has this form as they are, right? Uh, putting apart the, the malleability of the degree flat 6, it is a fact that no scale has these four chords as they are. Right? Although people say sometimes, uh, well, you know, menor, menor, menor harmonic scale has something similar, like it, but it still has, there is problems too talk that way because there will not be fitting all the characteristics and therefore well we have these four chords and all the music in flamenco anything you, you see there uh, has this and Paco de Lucia said that he told me a long time ago that in composition you can do many modernistic stuff other chords and travel far out what is the normal thing, but you have to solve into this. Therefore, out of these four, this is the most important, the fifth and flat nine. And the second one more important is the flat six. It sounds this way, flat six, and this is fifth and flat nine. Two chords. 
Now, because if we do anything stretched and then don't, not solve into this idea, that would be what the tradition calls jazz. <laughs> Me imagino lo que descubrí ahí en la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música, debería, debería aprender porque en la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando y qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el, en el que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música.